Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to The Wolf Den in, in the, the raw. raw. An experimental, uncut, and unedited, totally, totally naked, naked. pre-recorded bonus, bonus bonus footage, footage of me building and furnishing new homes in the Wolf Den town. And we're back. This is episode number 14. And I was just working on finishing up this particular column. And I hope that I can get the rest of these columns finished and on to some more interesting stuff before the end of the episode. I don't want to spend too much time just on making columns. And my nose is itching again. So hopefully I can hurry up and get this all finished. I want to start working on other, the rest of the floor, flooring, putting in the doors eventually. Um, so, oops, that's the wrong block. Let's go stair, oops, stair, half slab. And we'll just pillar up with the dirt here. So, how's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good tonight. Trying to get as much of this building done tonight before having to go to bed. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night, Saturday, July 14th. Still, July 14th, <laughs> and it's still 2012, so if anybody is watching this next year, which would be completely awesome, would love it if I still had people watching my videos next year. So if you're still watching next year, this is, I'm doing this in 2012, and I'm out of dirt. Oh, that's why I'm out of dirt, is because I keep leaving it behind. There we go. I'm going to have to go collect some dirt. I totally forgot that I was actually using dirt and leaving it on top of the pillars. <laughs> now, these are the same kind of the same style of pillars that I was using in the uh, the library, except they were only two wide and not three wide. I thought I'd go with something a little different this time. We'll see how it turns out. Um, and this will be the fourth, oh, I can't fit through there, what am I thinking? This will be the fourth large building that I've built in this world, that being number three. Um, I also want to do something in the nether. I have kind of a nether base started already, it's just I haven't gone very far with it. I might do a nether base build next time around, but we will see. Um, I have, oh, sorry for the sniffles, I have some more plans that I want to build in the town, um, not including a transportation system to get from one area to the next. I'm still running back and forth. Um, still have lots of other things that I wanted to do. The main uh, shop, workstation, workshop, the main workshop that I have that I started from way back episode one. Mm, excuse me, way back episode one. Uh, that's just going to have to stay where it is. Or, yeah, 
I can go like that. I totally forgot to go get dirt again. So this time, guys, remind me, go get some dirt. <laughs> and again, I'm distracted with what I was talking about. Um, was talking about the main workshop. There's several other rooms that I wanted to build in it. I wanted to build a better passage to where my desert is, where my sand farm is. Sand farm. Um, I never really started using the uh, the sand glitch and I only think it works in multiplayer. I can't be entirely sure of that. Like I said, I haven't tried it. I haven't uh, read up on it too much. Do we have dirt here? We have dirt here. There we go. That'll work. So I don't know how the, the sand replication is working. I haven't tried it. Why does that pillar look like it's completely way too small? Probably because it is. But when I actually start putting in the flooring up there, it'll work out. But as far as the main workshop goes, I still have a lot I want to add to it. Um, I want to get the farm animals out of there. I have all four forms of livestock. Cows, pigs, sheep, chickens, they're all in there. Um, I currently have a automated cow breeding machine. I would like to add, at some point, add some pigs to that uh, with a nice little switch that I can switch back and forth. Uh, do pigs at, do pigs for a while, and then switch the lever and have it do cows or have it go back and forth and do both pigs and cows. Just whatever. It would be really nice to have an automated switch for doing that kind of a selection. Um, so I want to have all of that set up before I remove all the livestock from inside of my main base. It's there just as a backup, that's all it is, just in case something comes along and kills off everything I've got. I won't, or everything that's outside. I don't know why they would do that. Who knows? Um, I wanted to build that in a large lookout um, point. I have something up there with my fireworks set up. Um, you know what? I'm going to try going back to far view again now that it stopped snowing. And I need to make an axe. or just go and get an axe so that I can chop up that floor. Mm, let's grab the iron one for now. Like that. And let's get to chopping. So 
So what I'm going to try and do is create this almost sunken look to this floor here. Um, and I'm going to use stairs to bring it down a little bit. So I don't know if I should use this type of stair or the standard wood. Oops. Like that. What? Or if I should use half slabs. Let's try a few things and we'll see how it looks. Because with the half slabs I can go all the way around like that. Oops, didn't want to do that. That. And then if I dig up the floor here, or dig up the dirt, I should say, on the floor. Oops. And put the dirt back. Oops. Smaller pile of dirt. Okay, and then I put the floor down like this. And if I do this all the way through, it should actually look pretty cool. So that's the plan for this episode, maybe the one after it. Just cut out all this floor with an uh, with an artistic style of build, which is what I consider this. There's a lot of different other uh, builders out there, and everybody gets classified into one group. Builders, we're all builders, but there's there's uh, redstone builders. There's functional builders, there's creative builders, there's a lot of different kinds of builders. Um, and I do a lot of a lot of each. I try to make things functional, but this this series and uh, the wolf den in itself is meant for aesthetics primarily more than anything it's an above ground town that is um, trying to keep it all into a one specific you know architectural style or something I don't know <laughs> I'm just babbling here but I'm trying to make it look pretty that's the thing. I'm trying to make the best looking town that I can with the resources that I have. Um, and at the beginning, I started out just like a regular LP or Let's Play. You know, punching trees, digging a cave in the side of a hill, looking for stone and iron and gold and diamonds and everything. Spent a lot of time looking for resources. And the next the next step after that was to build um, automated farms for 
the production of food and um, experience farming with the skeleton trap, the spider trap that I built. Um, I never actually finished the... You gonna be okay where you're at? You just sit there. All right. Now this open area, do I want to lower it or not? Well, let's go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of this and we'll see where we go from there. So, after finishing the, what is it, the autom automated farms, which I am still nowhere near to finishing, um, another f automated machine I wanted to set up was for the breeding and shearing of sheep, but I don't know what it is. I am a an advocate of not using wool at all. I hate using wool except for things that make sense, like a floor, you know, put down a carpet on the floor, but as far as building a building out of wool, it just seems crazy to me. I'd rather build something out of stone and wood than uh, a giant block of wool. <laughs> now in creative, that's a completely different story. If you're building something that is colorful, meant to be colorful, like some something like that, that Russian palace with the colorful towers that it has. And there goes the uh, the axe. Let's go get the diamond axe and we'll finish it up here. But you know, just for building regular buildings, I don't I don't know why you or I don't, I won't. <laughs> I refuse to build anything out of wool. Um, I see a lot of modern, modern style builders. Uh, somebody built a present day town and they had some nice modern looking, modern style architecture in their homes and down the street they had a McDonald's. It was red and yellow. Everything was red and yellow. <laughs> so that was obviously built using a lot of wool. Um, I do wish that you had the ability to paint surfaces like stone and other things so you didn't have to be limited to the wool blocks for color that is. Um, I'm really happy that they came out with new, these new uh, wood textures or the wood blocks. Uh, one type of wood for each type of tree is very cool. And it looks like the moon's going down and the sun will be coming up soon. And I'd like to be able to at least reach that dirt line. There we go, there's that. And it looks like I'm going to be digging up the ground in the next episode. And I guess my stories seem to be carrying over from one episode to the next.
So here is where I will leave it off. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good night.